The Office of the Vice President's budget proposal breezed through today's panel proceedings at the House, given the traditional courtesy afforded the offices of the President and Vice. A 180 degree shift on the Education Department's presentation that was met with heavy scrutiny and questions to justify a number of line items, such as a request for $150 million in confidential money. The full report from our Daniel Manalastas. It was Vice President Sara Duterte herself who appeared before the House Committee on Appropriations to present the proposed budget of the Office of the Vice President and the Department of Education. The proposed budget of the OVP for next year is 2.3 billion pesos. The congressman immediately terminated the discussion on the OVP fund in accordance with the usual courtesy as the congressman did this too to the budget of the Office of the President. House lawmakers recognized the accomplishments of the office of the vice president even in just a short period of time. We continue to support as well uh, the legislative districts of our honorable members of the House of uh, Representatives with all the, the, the meager projects of uh, the office of the vice president. And if there is anything that we can do to help you as uh, an office, in your respective mandates, in your respective legislative districts and party lists, uh, please do let us know. Uh, we are open to collaborations in helping our fellow Filipinos. Vice Presidential Spokesperson Attorney Reynold Munsayak, meanwhile, addressed those who spread fake news on Vice President Duterte using the presidential chopper. Uh, una ho, uh, Manila based na ho, si VP at ang kanyang pamilya, dito na po nag-aaral ang kanyang mga anak. Tapos so, uh, land vehicles po yung ginagamit ho nila. Tsaka ho, lahat na nakakakilala kay VP, eh, sa yung history ng public service niya, alam na napaka-efficient niya and she will be the last person to waste government resources. The committee also discussed the DepEd budget worth almost 710 billion pesos. During the hearing, the issue on classroom shortage was raised. But more than classrooms... Dapat po, we have to be innovative. Dahil po alam naman natin na hindi na natin masolve yung classroom shortage, tinitingnan po natin ang iba't ibang paraan na pwede nating gawin that learning continues for our learners outside of the classroom. Meanwhile, the 150 million pesos alleged confidential fund under the DepEd was also raised. But Vice President Duterte explained this is a response to illegal activities such as terrorism, recruitment, and some DepEd staff who allegedly are into prohibited drugs. The Committee on Appropriations has also ended the briefing on the DepEd's budget. Vice President Duterte also asked the House to add 100 billion pesos to the DepEd fund, which when granted, she promised... Initially po, lumapit na kami sa Pangulo at sinabi namin, sinabihan ko po ang Pangulo na if you give me 100 billion, I will solve all the problems of basic education. And that is what I want to reiterate as well to Congress and the House of Representatives. Daniel Manalastas for the Nation.